Lots of turquoise sky right now, and the first pitch to Fur is high and away, ball one. Don't let the opposition score 33 runs in three games, as was the surprising case at Mississippi State. Face a starting pitcher who's a left-hander. Braswell plucks it on the backhand side and then cannot make the transfer. He reached into his glove and it just trickled away. Pronounced George. And he hits a one hopper to Braswell. He'll make the underhanded flip to retire Bates on the force. The next pitch is slapped through the hole on the left side. Mac Bingham rams the second pitch he sees. Increased by three over the weekend. He homered in every game against Mississippi State. This one comes up and hits the shortstop high on the chest or maybe even on the neck. That's not go. And he lays off the pitch. It's high and away. The bases are suddenly loaded with nobody out. Milam and Malazzo. This may make center field. It's grabbed by the shortstop, but an infield hit for Travinsky. Double figures in runs batted in so far this year in the lineup. But that soon changes, doesn't it? As Pearson, with a short swing, waited on that pitch. And Braswell beats the shift as he blasts it up the middle. One Tiger scores. Here comes another. And LSU has added two more. The monster at the plate. He hits it sharply. Gloved by the third baseman. There's an out at second and an out at first. McLeod, Ballard, and Como turn it over. Ballard at second base for a nice turn. Now it's Kling, Ooh. and he's hit by a pitch. So the Tigers continue to be a magnet. And they've got the runner picked off. Kling is going to stop. Oh, wow. And the ball is dropped by the first baseman. The runner, Pearson, scores from third. And we've seen LSU try that a couple of times. They've been successful yeah. both times. How about that? LSU, a, a second time in a week, they've run a first and third play with success and have scored the runner from third. They didn't do that all of last year. You always want to go and make the first baseman have to make the throw to get you out. And that's what LSU made happen. There was the bobble, and there's something to be said for those veteran at-bats. And that's back-to-back -back leadoff walks for Coleman. That throw to first base is airmailed over the head of Jared Jones. The runner stumbles between second and third, but he is going to slide and make it a two-base throwing error. It's a four-pitch base on balls. Pearson started back. Now he's coming toward the infield. He's got it. Runner tags from third. The throw is on the fly to the catcher, Milazzo. A swing and a tip back into the mid of Milazzo. Has uh, 20 stolen bases before this season as well. And he hits it sharply out of the reach of Braswell into left field. That'll score Myers from third. He waves at it again and is tagged out by Milazzo. Three doubles and five home runs. And he sl sl slams this one uh, into left field. He's uh, two for two. Seven driven in, walked three times. A big fly ball deep to center field. Jones rips it out of here. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Home run number eight. That's a team leading number. And Jared Jones on one swing adds two more to the Tiger total. Numbers in the country in that category, and Kling lashes one into the left field corner. This will roll all the way to the wall. Kling will have no difficulty in steaming into second base. He puts himself in scoring position and now moves up 90 feet. But this time he is called out on strikes, and he struck out in the first inning as well. And they just shifted on the previous pitch. This one is chopped to the shortstop. He looks at the plate, doesn't have a play there. And a base on balls with two outs to the much taller McDonald. Here's a shot to right on a hop, and that's going to get through on the right side for a base hit. So Fur is two for two at the top of the order, and the runner keeps going and scoots to third. That's McLeod 
five, four earned runs, five runs, four earned. St. Mary's. There you go. Longwood, Florida. This ball is hit way, way, way back. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. It sailed into the night. It might take a bloodhound to find that ball. And a base hit drops into left field for Corona. He's one for two. Good sharp breaking ball. White roams to his left, but he cannot field it cleanly. Now he'll hustle back to third base, but there will be no throw there. Coaches and nutrition are they have at LSU in all the sports, and he's gotten bigger and stronger and throwing harder. Bingham was well placed defensively. He had to back up. Uh-oh. White lifts one way up and way, way out. Tommy White is now homered in four consecutive games. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. The Tigers with mammoth home runs by Jones, by Travinsky, and by White. I mean, four games in a row. And it's the second time in four years that they've been the host. Here's a ground ball up the middle. And a good job by Dalton Davis of sending that one back from whence it came. A runner at first base with a short lead. Evans pops this one up in foul ground. Napolt is chasing it down and makes a nice catch. The pitch. Chopped to the left side. Braswell's got it. Makes the flip over to Napolt covering second base. 3-2 pitch misses. LSU needs one. And this ball is hit a long way on a line. It's off the bottom of the wall. Here comes the runner around third. He scores standing and the Tigers on a walk off double by Tommy White who continues to blister the baseball. Mm -hmm.